morning. I'm quite excited. I know you are. You're really <laughs> excited. I think Evelyn's boast, having <gasps> made the coronation dress and having those little samples, how special is that to be able to look back and, you know, your part in, in history? And say so she was there and she had to help keep yeah, it looking nice. There in the Abbey. Amazing story. Good morning, Evelyn. Lovely to hear it. Uh, 6.44. Definitely time to talk to Carol, who I know loves a new hat. Morning, Carol. Certainly do. Good morning. You're going to need one. Good morning to you. <laughs> yeah, a waterproof one, John. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today, as you probably now guessed, it's going to be a day of sunshine and showers. And rather like yesterday, some of the showers are going to be heavy and thundery and slow moving. So you could catch quite a deluge in a relatively short amount of time. Low pressure is firmly in charge of our weather. We've got this weather front slipping out of the Outer Hebrides, later getting into Northern Ireland. And it's also going to be breezy across the far south of England. First thing this morning, too, there's some fog to watch out for across parts of southern England, Wales and Scotland, but that will lift quite readily. And it's a fairly cloudy start as well for many of us. The cloud breaking up in parts as we go through the day, so we're looking at sunshine and some showers. But it should dry up across parts of Wales and southwest England into the afternoon. So our rain continuing to push south, getting into Northern Ireland. Belfast looking at a high today of 14, but the top temperature likely to be 17, somewhere like Cardiff or Plymouth. Now, through this evening and overnight, our band of rain moves out of Northern Ireland, just clips southwest Scotland, gets into northwest England and also parts of northwest Wales. Some further showers coming in across eastern parts of Scotland, getting into central areas, but in between some clear skies and there'll also be some patchy mist and fog forming, which will lift quite readily. Tomorrow morning, you can see we've got some rain around the Manchester area. As it pushes away southwards and eastwards, it will turn more showery. And tomorrow is another day of sunshine and showers. But having said that, the showers won't be as frequent as they're going to be today. There'll be a bit more sunshine, but they could still be thundery across parts of central and also eastern England. Temperatures 13 to about 19 degrees. And then as we head on into Thursday, well, what we have is this weather front in the Atlantic drifting steadily towards Northern Ireland. And we've got another system coming up from the south. So for Thursday itself, any mist and fog that's formed overnight will lift quite readily. There'll be a lot of dry weather around, some cloud building through the day with the odd isolated shower. And then we've got the rain coming in across Northern Ireland. Now, as we head on into the evening, of course, the beacons are being lit during the course of Thursday evening. We just might see a little bit of that rain getting in along the west coast of Scotland. It's one certainly to keep a close eye on. But during the day, 12 to about 21 degrees will be our maximum temperatures. So on Friday, here is that rain. You can see where it's arrived across parts of Scotland, in through parts of Northern Ireland in the east, the Isle of Man, Northern England, a few showers that bit further south as well. But on either side of that, we're looking at drier conditions with highs up to 22. And then into the weekend, this is where uncertainty creeps in to the weather forecast. It all depends on where this front coming south arrives and the one coming north arrives. But it looks like at times we'll have some showers, especially so across the south of England. High pressure building in the north means drier here with some sunshine. And in the sunshine, it will feel quite warm. Sal and John. OK, well, that's all right. It could be worse, couldn't it? And uh, it some dry be. patches. OK, Carol, thank you. We'll go with quite Pleasure. warm. That's yeah, good. Quite warm is good. <laughs> yeah.